please work. Please work. Please just work. <laughs> no. Why? No, I'm done. I'm done. We're done here. What is going on guys? Hopefully you enjoyed that little skit there of me uh, getting frustrated at my computer. But that skit is gonna be what this video is about. And it's gonna be about uh, that feeling of frustration that a lot of developers face when they're uh, working on a task and they just can't figure something out or something looks like it should be working, but for some reason it's not working. And this happens all the time as a developer, both at work and when I'm working on any kind of personal projects. Everything looks perfect, it looks like it's supposed to work, but it just doesn't. So that's what this video is gonna be about. It's gonna be about how to break through these barriers that you encounter when you're developing, when you're working on code, uh, so that you can come out the other side and you can solve your problems. And in particular, I'm gonna share with you a personal experience of how I broke through this, because this has happened to me quite a bit in the past, uh, but just recently when I, I broke through this barrier, I, I sat down and reflected on myself. It's like, how did I actually you know, get through this? Uh, so that's what I want to share with you today. But before I get into that, I just want to announce that I am starting a mailing list. And on this mailing list, you're going to find things like sharing my thoughts, sharing product reviews, uh, sharing what I'm going to be working on in the next few weeks and months. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link to that in the description section below so that you can subscribe and get direct content from me. I'm hoping for maybe a monthly basis or something like that. But anyways, on into the, the content of the video. So what we're again, we're talking about is breaking through programming barriers. Uh, and again, this is something that every developer is going to have to face at some point in their career. This happens fairly often. Uh, and in the particular circumstance that uh, I was relating to in the beginning of this video, uh, I took this task where I was pretty confident that I was going to be able to finish it on time and, and successfully and all that. And I, um, I came down to the implementation and I was working on this code and, and the code looked perfect. Everything was wor working perfectly in terms of uh, the code itself and the unit tests and the small amount of integration tests that I ran uh, against it. So everything from like a bird's eye view looked correct. And when it came down to running it, there was a particular use case that I was testing it against where just something wasn't working properly. And I spent so, so many hours trying to figure out like, what the heck can possibly be wrong here? I did all the things that I know how to do. I you know, put in those system all print lines if you're working with Java. I put in debuggers. I put in all the things. I checked the logs. I, I poured over this code for so, so long. And I was just getting so frustrated by looking at the same thing over the course of these six hours. And I felt like I was making very, very little progress. If this sounds familiar, don't be ashamed because this happens all the time. And breaking through these barriers is a part of growing as a developer and a part of, a part of your job, really. So anyways, after I worked on this, maybe till like 11 or 12 at night, so well past the working hours, um, I eventually just said, you know what, I got to walk away. I, I can't be looking at this anymore um, because I felt like I wasn't making any progress. My brain was zapped. You know that feeling when you get in your brain where it's like you're staring at something for so long it starts to lose its meaning? That's exactly what was happening. It's a super frustrating experience because you really want to solve the problem, but you feel like you don't have the mental capacity. So anyways, I just walked away from my computer at the time. I'm like, I can't handle this anymore. I need to take a little bit of a break. It was already a little bit late. I figured I'd maybe take a half an hour break and come back to it and see if I can make any progress. And so that's exactly what I did. I, I walked away. I took a little walk around my neighborhood. I came back, got some water, and I sat down again and looked at the problem again. And what happened next is something that I wish I can share with you the feeling because it's such a good feeling. It, I, I kind of took another look at the code from a fresh perspective. And I was looking at it and I'm like, oh, this is exactly what the problem is. Immediately when I sat down, I was able to figure out, oh, that's why this is happening. It makes so much sense. How could I be, you know, ignoring this very obvious fact? I wasn't missing a semicolon, you know, that didn't happen. All my curly braces were there, so it wasn't that. But it was something to do with the semantics of the code. And that's kind of what I want to share with you today. It's like, when you're facing these big problems, these roadblocks, these blockers, where you're spending hours and hours and hours on a problem, just walk away. Come back to it in a little while. There's only so much focus that you can exert in a period of time. And this isn't made up, by the way. I actually looked up an article on the Harvard Business Review, and I'll put a description, or put a link rather in the description section, so you can check this out. But there's only a fixed amount of focus you can give to a problem over a period of time, or, or over a window, rather. So 
Often it doesn't make sense to just keep on looking at the same problem for six, eight hours. You end up burning out and it stops making sense to you. So one of the most valuable things that you can do is just walk away, come back to that problem, maybe the next morning or in a few hours, just come at it with a fresh perspective and just see where it goes. I think you'll find more often than not, it'll lead to something productive. You'll kind of look at it from a different perspective, look at it through a different lens. Maybe you'll dream about it or have some kind of epiphany in your sleep or something like that. But what I found that works for me really well, and this is actually something I've done for the past three or four times where this circumstance has happened, uh, walking away and just looking at it again from a fresh perspective is such a useful tip to break through programming barriers. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if this has happened to you in the past, let me know down below in the comments section. I wanna know if you've been able to break through barriers using a technique like this, or if you use other techniques, tell me about that because I wanna know exactly what you guys are doing to solve your programming problems. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in more, make sure to check out my channel. I have many on AWS and a lot of software engineering concepts. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.